Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, the Heyday Farmer, and welcome back to one of my cool videos. Now, today's video is very specific and focused. It's looking at the animal pens and different farms around the world. I'm really interested in how people actually lay out their animal pens, and sometimes I like to copy the ideas. For example, if I'm looking for a good design, I might head on over to Greg's. Greg often has a lot of interesting designs every now and then. So when they do update his design, you can see something interesting that maybe you would like to copy. Now the choice is yours if you want to copy these designs and you're going to get quite a few designs from a lot of high level players throughout this video. Some will be interesting, some will be kind of like, yeah, okay, I don't really like that. But again, at the end of the day, the choice is yours. What do you want to go for? What do you want to do for your farm? Now, I do see a lot of animal pens laid out there, and some of the designs I think are rather beautiful. Some of the designs I think are very good for practical reasons for actually doing event tasks, etc. But I'm more interested at the end of the day in how people actually design around animal pens. I like the way they use paths or rose bushes or trees or walls, uh, even to actually completely hide them as well. So I thought, okay, why not share some of these designs? So let's start looking at some of the farms that are out there. Now to start with, I've gone to the Global Leaders Board. We can have a look at some of the key ones there on my Friends Board. Let's go and show you some of those. Now this one belongs to Murat. Now what I like here is the fact that he's using some of the trees here that you can actually purchase from the decoration style to actually hide the animal pens there. So they're tucked in behind the trees. This allows him to decorate his farm to create a wonderful design, but to actually keep the animal pens hidden. So it's kind of like getting away from that overall design. And I like it. In fact, this next one you're going to look at as well is very, very similar in some ways. Now, the animal pens are more prominent. I like the choice of the actual farmland going around the outside of them as well. And I think this addition of these gorgeous style autumn trees that have been given to us recently allow higher level players to be very, very creative. In fact, even as a lower level player, okay, you can still do similar kinds of things. Maybe not to the extent that you can see here. But again, it's still a rather beautiful design and it looks so good, especially with the farmland around the outside. Okay, next one, let's go and have a look. What have we got here, I wonder? Now, this one is a more open style plan. Renata's here. I like the way she's actually got the level 100 tree in the middle with the chickens around the outside. She's using some of the statues as well. To the top, the left, the bottom, and the right, you can see she's gone with groups of three. And I think groups of three are one of the better ways of actually going when it comes to laying out your design. The choice of the rose bushes here with this design actually does blend in really, really nicely. She's got the paths around the outside, she's got the paths on the inside as well. So you get this feeling that people can actually walk around, and it's gorgeous. I love it a lot. Now, speaking of paths, this one's actually kind of cool as well. This is using the land across the road. You've got the animal pens in nice straight rows there, so easy to actually collect the produce from. But the actual entrance here that comes into this area, so it's blocked off from the main farm by the trees, but you've got that wonderful little entrance there with some actual pets just behind it as well. So there's actually more hidden behind the trees. But I do like this layout. It's actually really, really good. And it's very simplistic, and it's easier to do for most levels. So it doesn't matter what level you are you can create this kind of design. Now remember, many of these designs are going to cost you either vouchers or coins, so do be aware that coins do increase with price. Now if you do have a lot of money, why not go gold? Again, you've got this three style option here, so three of the cow pens to the top, and then three of the pig pens to the bottom, and then that wonderful separation there of the actual sheep. Coming further down towards the left-hand side, you can see again another group of three and three for the goats and for the chickens. I like the choice of the golden paths and the golden walls. They blend in very, very nicely here. The addition of the dirt path was really good as well. Now, this one here is using a lot of the actual trees that you get within the game that you actually have to purchase to harvest fruit. Now, if you're going to design with trees, okay, you can buy the decorative items or you can go with the actual existing trees that we have within the game for fruit harvesting. So, blending that in there with decoration as well gives you a nice little colorful design sometimes. If you don't have enough vouchers to buy the big ones, this is a good way to go and nicely hidden. If you're looking for something a little bit more simplistic here, again, nice straight rows, easy for actually collecting the produce, and very, very easy to find your actual animal pens. And again, nicely tucked into the trees. So again, that, that hidden style design. 
so really good now if you want something that's more open okay not so many trees why not go with the hedgerows the hedgerows in this case okay create the nice little boxed area now personally i don't really like the boxes i don't usually do this myself i like to have it kind of open but this design here you've got here is actually kind of cool and i like the way they've done this so you've got like the nine large ones there then three of the smaller ones so this allows the farmer to harvest and to collect their produce really really quickly this one again is using those beautiful trees that we got recently but what i like here is the wall choice around it so it's not just trees you can use to decorate you've got a nice selection of wall decoration within the actual game itself so why not combine and create some wonderful weird and interesting designs i do like the way that this actual wall is gone i think it blends in really really well and it creates a very unique style to this actual layout uh, especially when you've actually got the pigs coming down a little bit further so they're stepped out over here in this corner rather unusual but really beautiful really really is nice i like that one now this one i think is one of my favorite ones that i've been looking at now a lot of individual animal pens laid out here but around the outside they've decorated or slightly set it up a little different so it's a really really open plan but it's also very simplistic you've got the farmland here with a single tree you've got berry bushes just here as well and as you move around these designs you can see they've used a variety of different decoration or layout styles now the pattern is very very similar for all of them you've got these squared off sections with a tree or with farmland or with fireplaces and then you've got around the outside some of the actual golden paths as well so again for ease of use it's very very nice the choice of the farmland around the outside i think actually does a really really good job of blending in here because it allows you to actually separate your crop choice as well so not only do you separate your crop choice so you can then balance how you're doing your harvest but you've got a cool design as well so i like this one too and it's it's rather cool to look at right now this one is a very simple design again it's pushing all of the animal pens up against the side but what i've done here is actually combine the berry bushes and the apple trees now the apple trees are not so high but for me it's the berry bushes that are rather important here i think the berry bushes blend in very nicely with the animal pens they overlap they do look good and when you're putting animal pens together something like this is very easy to do again another choice here using trees and berry bushes now this one is pushed up against the side of the actual cliff face now again it's a very very practical design and you can do this at basically any level especially if you've cleared away all of the trees but again using those berry bushes as a border effect with the trees does allow for ease of harvest and it also looks kind of pretty and cute as well sometimes and very cheap now a lot of people get dead trees within the game so why not combine those dead trees with your actual animal pens as well so if you look at this one here you've got dead trees and live trees mixed in together and they do contrast very very nicely they create a wonderful design so very heavy on the trees you've got the animal pens hidden within the trees but they blended in the dead trees there with the live ones creating a good pattern now i don't agree with actually blocking dead trees together pushing them all in one location but if you mix them it looks rather wonderful especially with autumn coming up very soon so keep that in mind for design ideas now the water ditches i think one of the best additions to the game we've had recently has been these wonderful water dishes or path ditches that we've got as well now using water around the animal pens creates some wonderful islands just like you've got here and this design i'm looking at for steph spooky shack is really really good i like the way that she's used the water to create a lot of mini mini islands here and the actual design combination the way it blends in together is rather good just look at it there you've got the pigs down there in the bottom there you've got some islands there that have been created and it, it is actually kind of cool and i like it a lot i really really do so for me this is a rather pleasing design right now this one is mixing in just not the animal pens but also your pets as well so you've got your horses blended in here with the goats you're using some dead trees on the one side live decorative trees on the other so again a very practical usage and it looks good as well so give that one a go 
this is one of my favorite I think so using the section across the road again you're using the olive trees around the outside animal pens nicely tucked into the middle so it creates a nice little like box style section there and again rather pleasing for design option so this one I think is very practical for even low levels up to high level players so it's useful this one here is combining in a lot of decoration. Now you don't have to use the bushes and the berries and the trees. You can use other decoration as well. You've got path pieces here. You've got the water. You've got regular decorative items that you get as part of the game as well. You've got machines as well. So why not put your machines around the outside creating a nice little pattern? Don't lump everything together. Separate it. It really does look good. Again, you've got this separation here with this design. You've got some more decoration just down there to the bottom hand side blending in very nicely the trees there break up some of the jagged edges uh, and again it creates a very nice little pattern that you could copy as well especially with the trees behind the animal pens as well now this one here, it's a very simple design, it's not overly decorative. You've got some wool there, it's pushed into the far hand corner. It's very easy for practical farming usage. So what you've got to do is just go there, collect your goods, very easy to see. You don't have to decorate if you don't want to. If you like this more open, simplistic design, again, it's very, very simple. So why not give this one a go? Next one. Now again, a decorative design here. Now what I kind of like about this one is not the fact that it's pushed more towards the back so everything is pushed together but the fact that you step away from that and it's very colorful around the outside but it's also blocked off from the house. Look at the way those trees there are blocking the animal pen area from the house creating the feeling that the animal pens are pushed out the way. Now, for ease of harvesting, ease of collecting produce, I think this one is actually rather good. It's very easy to take your finger and just swipe straight down from left to right, collecting the produce from your pigs, your sheep, your cows, etc. So again, a very, very practical and simple design. So you need to balance your designs in relation to your task and activities you want to do and creating something that is very, very pleasing on the eye. And for me, this is both pleasing and easy to follow. Again, this choice here pushed up towards the back there, a nice combination of the berry bushes. Again, very, very easy to use. But the key thing here is that they've separated them into groups of three. So you've got the three cows with the actual dairy pushed towards the back, and then you've got the three lots of pigs there. Separated that area, moving over past the smelters, you've got another group of three of the sheep, then you've got three of the goats, and then three of the actual chickens. So this 333 concept, I think, is a good option to consider when you want to start moving your animal pens around different locations within your farm. So do separate them. You don't have to put them all together. Right, next design. Now in this case they are pushed together, but notice here that they're actually split up. So if you look at the back there, you've got sheep in the top, you've got your goats on either side, then you've got your cows, then pigs, then sheep again, then pigs, and then you've got your cows again. So they're not actually grouped together, they are separated, but still within the same area. Now this creates a break up of the actual pen color. So you'll see there the actual animal pens are of a different color. Now by breaking them up like this, blending them in with berry bushes and trees as well, you end up with a rather nice design and it's very simple to look at as well. Now this one again is another one of the practical. So ones you, don't, you don't have to go from like right to left, you can go from uh, top to bottom. The choice is yours when it comes to laying these out. Now one of the reasons I like this one because it not only mixes in the berry bushes, it also mixes in some of the decorative items as well. Look at those trees at the back there, berry bushes then down to the rose bushes. This one again is another practical one here. What I specifically like about this one is the fact that they're using path pieces around the outside with the machines, etc. But they've actually got the farmland on the actual center of this. So they're using the farmland as part of the design around the animal pens. And then you've got walls to the back and to the side there, again with more machinery around it. So everything is in that one area. It's not crowded, it feels very, very comfortable. And again, I like this one as a choice. Okay, this one here, Jody. she's one of the team leaders, or she's basically my number two in my hood. So we're going to look at some of the hood designs here. Now, this one itself okay, is not overly beautiful, but it's 
easy to use. So again, even higher level players don't always concern themselves with decorative farms. So you don't have to either at a lower level farm, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Go with something that's very simple like this, allows you to collect your produce really, really quickly. And it's very, very visual for that side. And I think that's very important as well. Now, if you want to be more decorative, okay, look at the way that Tony has done this one. So I love the way that she separated and contrasted and blended in here. So my friend Tony here, she is a very creative person and I do enjoy looking at her designs. I've got a couple of people in my neighborhood that are very design focused in addition to harvesting and doing a lot. So she's gone with both the design and the ability to collect the produce very, very quickly. So nothing is kind of hidden or pushed out the way. I like the way she's color contrasted there. So look at the red on that bottom side there. If you go further back, it's more green and yellow. Uh, and I like the choice of the path pieces. So I think it's very important sometimes to actually have path pieces moving around your animal veins to give you the perception that you can actually walk around and collect your goods. Now, I'm not always keen on seeing animal pens pushed together. I like them separated like this. That for me, this is one of my favorite kind of choices for laying out. Pushed together, not good. Now, one thing I really do like here is the fact that it actually connects with the helpers at the back. Look at that path piece there, joining the path that goes up to the helper's house. So again, that's a nice design contrast. Connect all of your areas together when you're looking at your designs. Now, if you like color, blend the color in together. Now you've got this wonderful brown, yellow, and green combination here with the reds to the back and to the side. I love the way this has been done. You've got those hay bale track, uh, carts there, you've got the actual nectar bushes, you've got the hive tree, you've got those beautiful flowers mixed in as well, you've got farmland there separated with the nectar bushes as well. It blends in well with the animal pens and it looks really, really, really good. Again, another blend of colors here, uh, a mix of trees and decorative decoration as well. You don't have to go with the berry bushes or with live trees. You can use those flowers as well. Look at it. It looks good and very, very simple as well. Another one I like here is more to do with the path pieces. Now, I think it's very important to go with path pieces around the animal pens, but you don't have to use the same one. You can mix and match, like you've got the two path styles here. So why not look at contrasting the different path pieces when you're actually joining everything together? But do remember, you want to connect that dock to the farmhouse as well. So why not incorporate that whole path corner section there into your one design? It, it does look good and it does create a nice feeling for your farm design as well. I do like this one. I really, really do. So path pieces, super cool. And again, as you come down past the smelters there, you see more. Right, now I think this probably has to be one of my favorite style designs. You saw one earlier, now you've got another one here. So this kind of like separation of animal pens. So that central location there in the middle. Now this one's using that wonderful Christmas carousel. Uh, if you don't have that one, don't worry. Christmas, it will come back again, I expect. Or you can buy it in the roadside store. Rose bushes around the outside. I think the rose bushes were a wonderful addition for decorative items. Now, if you look at the rose bush choice here, they blend in really well with the animal color and the pen color as well. The path pieces are not too close. There's that green border around the outside as well. So you've got that grassed area for the animals to run around. And again, it does contrast very nicely. She's still got more land to open up, but she's not worried about that. She's used the wall in there. You've got a mix of fencing in there as well, but it's all still very, very open. Beautiful. I love it. Right, now I'm going to be doing more videos like this. I'm going to be showing off some videos on how to use the land, more videos on some of the actual farm designs. Now, please do leave some comments below. Let me know. In fact, why not send me a postcard uh, showing off maybe some of your designs or ideas. So talk to me as well. If you like the video, make sure you do hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. And don't forget to hit the actual notification button as well. So you know when my videos are coming up there. Right, well, that's me, Red, signing off now. I hope you like this video, but I will see you in the next one. So take care, happy farming, and enjoy laying out your animal pens too. Goodbye now.